Hmm. Trying out a few new little shortcuts here. Ooh, that worked. Yay, that was cool. So I got this global shortcut that can start streaming. I can do that a little smoother from now on. Yay for that. Oh, I love little workflow improvements. Save a second here, second there. It's nice, it's nice feeling. Like, oh, I'm never gonna waste that second again. There's a whole second. Keep doing that over and over and over and over and over. Eventually they're saving minutes. Hours, days, years, I don't know. All right, so now I'm working on this animation for the the Zip final boss, and it's uh, he's gonna lift up his his hand with the glowing ball thing. It's like a little tractor beam effect. So, kind of want his arm to like move back more and more and more. So. All right, so he's gonna step, wait, he's got his sword hand, wait. Sword hand, ball hand. Let's say this is the ball hand. Oh yeah, yeah, there. Okay, it's kind of weird that he's got his legs like that, but oh well. Kind of works. Kind of works. All right. So he's gonna start lifting his hand. Both hands are gonna lift, 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 lift. And you can kind of repeat the same motion and go back to where he was. Okay, let's get rid of all these glow layers first thing. Hold on, first of all, can you guys hear me? The chat's not even going there. La 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 la. Think so. All right, get rid of those glow layers. All right, documents prepped. So this will be a starting frame. Keep a frame of reference, reference if you will. All right, so is this arm's gonna start going back? One, two, three, four, five, hmm. Yeah. One, two, three. That's a lot of frames actually we could do for this one because it's a whole two second animation. The sound effect is, the sound effect is even longer. Is it really two seconds? Let's hope that this doesn't crash the stream. Open Ableton. It's about a second and a half. And it kind of needs to do his, his move for that long too. So at most we can go 0 0.2 seconds per frame, I'm thinking. Which means that on the way up, it needs to be like 1.6 or 8 frames just to get up. Okay, 
That's settled. And he's got about... Let's see, eventually I want... Let's put let's see the ending frame. Well, it's going to be a lot easier actually to do this animation in order, but imagine something. Something like this. This is kind of crazy quick and stuff, but uh. Alright, alright, alright. So the overall movement center was just below his belt. Center he is. Alright, we go about forty seven pixels total. Over eight frames. It's like forty eight divided by eight. Is that six? Six. All right, cool. So s about six pixels each frame. This left hand's gonna move. So we'll start with this reference frame. All right, let's get this stuff moving. Should be a fairly simple animation, actually. Oh my god, this is a weird bug. Ah, uh, ah, uh, six pixels per frame. And how far? See, he's not going to have his shoulders up that high either. All right. Let's put this shoulder down. Shoulder up, head, yeah. Uh. Where's everybody today? I feel like I did something wrong. I think my I think my game show might not be working. I'm probably just talking for nothing. Again. Why does it happen? I don't know. Maybe you guys will be seeing this video on YouTube. I don't know. Maybe. Let's see if this even works. Okay, I'm thinking that his shoulder is going to get shorter. I mean, his upper arm is going to get shorter by about three pixels. 
So we were at 27, we want to go to 24. Of course, he totally doesn't want us to do that. Faster. Uh, is there something I can do here? Tell. And let's say it rotates just to tiddly four degrees, maybe. And with his arm rotate a tiddly. <laughs> so once again, we've got this crazy dance going. All right, this is going to be decreasing in its length. Anything other than zero and negative one.
Space my name. What's up, man? How's it going? Thanks, man. Thank you. Let me put it in context for you. The uh, I'm working on this is a is I don't know one of his abilities. So basically, he's got this ability where he smashes the ground crazy hard like that, sends out this shock wave. He does a ton of damage when he lands too. So if you land right under him, you're pretty much dead. Um, and then he's got that where he does this like tractor beam right here. And so I'm working on the animation for that where he's gonna lift up the ball in his hand and it's like a tractor beam. You just get all sucked in towards him. And he's also got another attack where he'll use his sword if you're close to him. What's up, crazy guy? Yeah, this is a total spoiler. You shouldn't be watching this if you wanna if you wanna eventually play this game and you want it all to be a surprise. What's up, Jonah? Yeah, sorry, I should probably start putting spoiler alert on the on the stream, huh? Would that would that help? Okay, so now he's really gonna start pulling it backwards and maybe start looking a tiny bit to the right. I think his arm is going to come in a slight bit. This is like where his chest can even get pushed in a little bit. His body's rotating that much. Uh Okay, put spoiler warnings. Super to the final boss, right? Right, if it does. Jeez. I'll put it anyways. Spoiler! I guess it is kind of automatically a spoiler thing, but I'll try this for a little while. Put spoiler here, because it's kind of extra spoilery right now. It's the final boss. What happened? Oh. I was working on the wrong layer. Damn it. Ah, yes. That ain't a pixel. Okay, so this is where his 
elbow is going to start moving backwards a lot here. So maybe like three or four pixels even. So this bit of his arm. Let's get that out of there. This bit's going to be independent. Oh, definitely. Definitely. There will be some sneaky stuff I do where I don't even do it on stream. In fact, I might do phase two for this boss. Oh, there's three phases to this boss, right? So maybe I won't ever show the final phase on the stream. You know? That would give me two phases worth, you know, I could show you on the stream. Basically this form of this guy. And then I could save the secret form for completely off stream, off stream, scream, streams, stream, screams. That sounds like a good balance. Eh. Eh. He becomes a blob. He becomes a tiny blob. The tiniest of tiny blobs. Jonah, how's the dissertation, man? What's up there? Still riding? Halfway done! Alright, halfway done! Yeah, buddy! Halfway mark! Okay, I think I'm going to start moving his head a little bit here, too. So, the top of his head will become shorter. The middle of his head will stay the same. What's up, Kavarni? He's sexy. Good time of the day, night. This boss is sexy. All right, there. This is longer face. It's gonna start tilting his head back. All right. Okay, so the, the ball is going to get even uh, higher up. Oh, okay.
da 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 Bum bum ba ba All right, so this last frame, he's got the ball all the way at the full height of his entire motion. Way up there. Way up there. Crazy. Let's see his fingers. The ball part. It needs to come down. Got two pixels there. Two pixels here. Each one of these. Kingdom New Lands, yeah. I have did you play the original Kingdom? I'm really I should try that, man. I've been trying all those sorts of new games. I bought uh, Slain. I bought Undertale. Uh, Ori in the Blind Forest. I kind of been playing a game every single night, actually, instead of watching movies, and I think it's, I think it's a good habit to be in, actually. I'm definitely getting back to people on Steam quicker. I'm like, oh, I got a Steam message because I'm on Steam every day. Somebody's posting in the forums. Someone poisoned the water well. Okay, so his head is going to tilt like back even more. We're talking this bit of his head. Huh. Huh. Or he's on your wish list too? One thing I should have done is watch more gameplay videos of all those games like I if I had watched a video I, I might not have bought Slain Slain was kind of a just meh it's not a very uh, 
Uh, I mean, it's hard for me to put my put my thoughts about Slain into words because I really love the pixel art. I don't want to like rail against this game at all, but just to put it simply, I played about 30 minutes and did not feel compelled to continue playing. So that was basically my thoughts on Slain. All right, everybody got that? It's gonna be a test later. Great fun. Uh, you, you can actually do that now? I think you can actually do that, can't you? Yeah, I've seen them do that a couple times with their their deals on Humble Bundle. I mean, on uh, Game Studio on Humble Bundle. Game Maker, I mean, sorry. Oh, if you play for less than two hours, oh, that's kind of a good way to do it. They have some, at least a rule of thumb about it. Always looks like dancing to me. It's an automatic refund, really? It's not automatic. Really? Alright, it's time to see what this looks like. Before I put any more time into it, I gotta see it. Play me, play me this rough draft. Metatron tractor exported. Metatron tractor. Oh, kind of? Oh, really? Huh. Oh, he didn't do it. Oh, oh. Of course he didn't do it. <laughs> Two seconds of frame.
less than two hours, re then refund. <laughs> Easy. First of all, it should be a little shorter. I tried a lot shorter at first. Now maybe just a medium. Half is short. Not quite. Not quite how it was. I wonder what it would all look like if there was sort of this glowing ball of energy. It just got bigger and bigger and bigger each frame. Let's start with the last frame. Which is freaking really weird. His head still looks crazy weird. Crazy squished. Crazy weird squished. This a little better. Okay, I'll start with the pink color. And I'll do new layers on all these. Thinking like the energy gets about that big. It's How much more of the game do you have left to develop? Well, this is uh this is this marks kind of a milestone here of getting this final boss done and the final dungeon done, uh, which I'll probably have done by this Friday. It's a big milestone. Much of the game is now complete in a way, but there's still a lot of minor content to be added. There's a lot more minor enemies I want to add. There's a lot of story to add. And a lot of other little details to kind of work on. And I also kind of want to do another pass on every single one of the dungeons to make them a little bit better. So each each dungeon will get like another pass, making it really awesome. So really, it seems like I'm pretty far here and pretty close to being finished, but really there's a lot left to do. I can't give you a very good answer there other than that.
so it's a never ending project. No, it'll definitely end. It will definitely end and relatively soon. Oh, it's bot foo. The command is bot foo. If he's here today, I don't know. Yeah, there you go, bot foo. Yeah, he's not here today. Okay. Okay, let's see what it looks like with that, with a little bit more energy to it. And eventually this will have glow, of course, like the rest of his animations. So I have tons of crazy glowing energy light. something with the with the tractor beam type effect with that big old circle of energy ends a little too fast Not a little bit on the way out What's that sound that was a cool sound Good job. Multilingual, it's awesome. I kind of want to see him bend his knees too while he's doing all this.
What's up, Pete and Wally? Oh yeah, you saw this guy on Tick Source? Sweet. Yeah, I already got some frames of him in some gifts and stuff, but he's still still got a few more days left to finish this. Each one of the freaking attacks and the abilities for this guy has been like an entire day's worth of work. It's a lot of work for this guy, and he's three different phases. So like he's got phase one where he's got certain abilities. Phase two, he's got more abilities and, and pets. And then phase three, he's a completely different form. So yeah, this, this could take another two weeks even. Shit. Whoops. Yeah, worth it, right? Yeah, it's worth it. It's the final boss. You got to do some cool stuff like this. It's got to be a pretty. It's gonna be a pretty awesome, epic bas battle beating this guy. You're gonna feel proud as a gamer. You're gonna be like, yes, I freaking did that. I feel like I, you just elevated your own skills. You're like, yes. Can't believe I beat that guy. It's a little bit better. Cool. Now I want to see his shoulders hunch more. Let's see how many pixels we can go. It's a lot, six pixels.
This one is three pixels. One, two, three. This will make it look like he's really getting into it, you know? He's like really about to do something crazy. Or he's doing something crazy. One, two. Last but not least, one, one, how many Tootsie Roll licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll pop? One. Okay, let's see if this actually turned out better, huh? Yeah. Cool. It's like way more getting into it now. Okay, also, this cape is going to get a little straighter, each one of these frames. So, ah. Ah. What's up, Arcane? Welcome. How you doing?
How's the website? All right, let's see if it's looking any better than the last revision. Then essentially, the process here is I, I animate every single, I create every single one of these frames, move things around, and then put it in the game, make sure it looks right, revise it, put it in the game, make sure it looks right, revise it again, revise, 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 revise. Finally, when everything is all said and done, it's pretty much all revised and it looks good. Then I go and apply the glowing effects. So it's kind of like a finalized image. And then it's all done. And then, then of course, adding sound effects. Sound effects are so quick and fun compared to, compared to animating. Well, they're both fun, but I mean, they're super quick. Yeah, that sword swing is so sweet. Friend of the side is cool, but I guess I have no idea what I'm going to do anything on the back end. You're kind of bummed because of that? Is he switching hands with the sword? No. No, he's not. Is it is it did it look like he did? I guess maybe you're talking about when he comes down on different sides of the screen. Yeah, when he's on different sides of the screen, he does switch over. Swords on the left. When he's on the left, swords on his right. When he's on the right, maybe that hard mix would be cool to put on this. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, yeah, doing it for a friend. Oh. He's like all of a sudden, boing!
See what it looks like with that one frame of a hard mix. Probably doesn't need this first frame. What is this animation missing? There's something missing here. Oh, it seems like he thinks what is so far is too easy for me to get any money for it. Ah, oh, dude. I hate hearing about stuff like that. It sucks, man. Get ah, oh, Arcane. What it really needs is some big lines. Drawn like Some rays. Okay, with that as a starting point. Let's copy that out and put it somewhere. Thanks to follow somebody. Okay, so to make these lines look like they're going inward, you know, that's the next step here. What's going to be the easiest way to do that? I guess I should copy each frame over.
Whoa, 10 to 20 language options. Yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. Maybe, maybe you could go back at him and say you want a certain amount before you continue working on it. Because, long story short, you know, like, it, that costs money. Web development costs a lot of money, and right now he looks like he's getting a free website. What's up, Wistaso? What's up? Yeah, 20 an hour, at least. Okay, that works out. I can do it like that. There you go, pay you in chunks, all right. Yeah, you can definitely ask, man, it's work you're doing. Just because you're learning at the moment doesn't really mean that, that really shouldn't factor into the end result, right? If he's getting a website that he likes and it's designed the way he's designing it and all that, then, right? Isn't it fair that you receive compensation for it no matter if you're learning or not? Just based on results? Yeah, it's just the translations part of it all. Yeah, and you know what's you know what's really sucks though? is like, it's easy to get yourself sold short when you're working on chunks of money. Or at least I've learned that in my own, my own experience doing, you know, contract projects like that. You work for, you end up working so much longer than you thought you would always, right? At least that's how it is for me. I always end up working longer than I thought I would. So I always ended up selling myself short because I would spec a project or whatever at like, oh, oh, I can do a website for you. Sure. How much? 1500 bucks. And I would think at the time, oh my God, that's a lot of money, 1500 bucks. But oh no, the second you start working longer than a, Two weeks, it's like too little. I don't know. I don't know how to solve this problem other than to just be kind of maybe assertive. Just be assertive and say, this is what I, I expect. This is what I deserve for doing this. Yeah, always like three times longer. At least three times, right? Two to four times. 
Average of three times. Longer, always. Guaranteed. Like this video game right here, Songbringer. I thought it would take me a year, and now this is two years into it. But this is this is great. I wouldn't rather be doing anything else in the world. Put in 48 hours so far. He has, okay, if he has other guys that are doing it, why aren't they doing it? Yeah, exactly, like Cavani said. Oh, Wissasel brings up an excellent point. They get paid more money, right? They get paid more money, so their time is more expensive to him. Hmm. One year times three. This little part's detailed. Where did I put? Oh no. There it is.
Wait, what? Okay, here we go. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I guess it's enough frames, dang. I don't need to keep doing this over and over and over. Am I gonna use some shader magic? Nope. No, I'm not gonna use any shader magic on this move. Um, this is actually gonna just be mostly pixel art. You'll see it get a lot better once I add the glow. The glow is not even in here yet. But there's a lot of things that will take advantage of the shader already. Like the teleport cube. Oh, okay. oh that, that's actually kind of a good idea. Uh... And here I woke up this morning thinking this would only take an hour to do this effect, to do this, like, <laughs> ability. I was like, I'm going to get two abilities done today. Yeah, I might I might add that to, like, the back burner list of ideas. That's such a good idea, though. Like, there's... I've been wanting to do some kind of, like, gravity-affecting thing. You know, like, something that looks really cool for some of these abilities. For the main hero, mostly, but for this guy, it's kind of cool to do the punch... Pull out everything you can, you know? Three, right, three hours. It was only gonna take three hours and now it's taking nine. At least, at least nine. I guess I'm just, I guess I just didn't get enough sleep last night, you know? I'm always complaining when I didn't get enough sleep. Why am I complaining so much? Shut the hell up, foo. Goddamn. There's people trying to enjoy their lives around here. That's your complaints. Okay, we'll put that down to 50. All right, so let's make these kind of come in a little bit. Do you ever make something big, but what don't even show to public for some reason? Uh, yeah, that has been several times I've done that with this project. Um, eventually it gets shown somehow, you know, but like, for example, I'm gonna leave one of the phases of this boss completely off the stream. 
there's three phases of this boss. So basically, I'll, I won't be surprising anybody. I won't be spoiling any of the, the final, final boss. This is just the final boss. There's the final, final boss as well. So I won't be showing that on the stream. Keep that secret. I'm also going to keep secret a lot of the story for uh, throughout much of the rest of the game's development even. I won't even be showing story much on the on the stream. Maybe not at all. Maybe I won't even do any kind of streaming of story at all. Okay, this is still kind of a jerky animation. It's not quite smooth and fluid yet, but I think this is a pretty good start. I don't even think I've checked this in yet. Let's see. Yeah, let's go. I gotta get all this in there. Get all it. Get it all. Get it good, man. Get it. Okay, see how this is looking? I think I'm going to have to get going after this. Got to get some dinner. Going to grill some grill tonight. We're going to grill up some sausages. You getting a huge Dark Souls vibe? Yeah, it's pretty... I mean, in part, this, and this boss is somewhat cliche in ways, I guess. You know? He's big, he has a sword. You know, every boss is big and has a sword. In fantasies, slash, some sci-fis. That animation looks sick. It's so cool. The sword animation. The landing animation. The launching animation. All these animations are looking good. This one still needs a lot of work. Tractor beam effect, it's not quite. Oh, like a project? An entire project? Yeah, every, every one of my previous projects. Yeah, I finally... This Songbringer is the first game I ever actually started marketing. From the from day one, from the get go, I've never developed a game like this this way, and I've always had bad results with marketing. So I think this is the way to go. You got to either start showing it every day yourself, doing your own indie marketing, or you need a publisher. And this is this is I'm talking if you want to succeed with your creations. But no, I don't really I don't really spend time making stuff that I don't really put out there because I don't know. I already have this big project to work on. Looks like a lightsaber. Cool. Well, it's not actually a lightsaber, but... That's good. That it's, it gives you the feeling of a lightsaber, right? But it's not gonna... It's not gonna get any copyright infringements. It's not actually a lightsaber. Similar helmet, huh? Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Similar helmet, yeah. Okay, what do I need to do next to this animation? With the glowing effects, it would really, really help. Cool, yeah. The glowing would really help, for sure. I'll find something to make this, look, this effect look better and stuff in pixel art. But yeah, so thanks for watching the stream, everybody. That's gonna be it for today. Appreciate you all, hope you all have a good, is it 
Monday. Have a good Monday night, Sunday morning, whatever it is for you. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you next time. Okay, go like, like this. Oh, sloppy.